today I'm at Guardian Beauty Plus and I'm going to be formulating everything to do with holy grail makeup and if you guys know on my channel I love trying affordable and high quality makeup products so today I'll be formulating a makeup bag full of my holy grail products that can be found here at Guardian Beauty. So what we really want to emphasize on is affordable and high quality products that don't necessarily have to be really really pricey in order for you to get really high quality makeup. So whether it be for school, for work or for a formal occasion, everything that I'll be formulating today in this makeup bag will suit all your needs. So let's go! Revlon. It's called the Revlon Photo Ready Prime and Anti Shine. What I really really like about it is that it's a very cool casing but it's a kind of silicone texture that comes in a bar. You don't need very much and you just apply it onto the skin where you have enlarged pores and that basically smooths out a lot of funky surfaces and for me predominantly I want to stop shine as well as even out bumpiness in my skin. So this is the first item that I'll be getting. Okay, so for foundation, if you guys have been on my channel for a really really long time, you guys know that I have two foundations love. And today, since I'm only going to pick one foundation, I would recommend this one from L'Oreal. This is called the L'Oreal True Match Foundation and I've been loving this since forever, especially when it was in its old packaging as well. But this is the new packaging, it's been here for a while. I'm in the shade N3 and this is how the bottle looks like. Basically, when you come into store, you want to swatch which is your accurate skin tone. If you guys want to know how to do that, I'll leave it in the card how you can test your foundation shape. But basically, you just need to squeeze a little bit on the back of your arm. Typically, the inside arm is the one that matches your face a lot more. And then you kind of rub it in to see if it disappears into the skin. And if it does, then you get your accurate shape match. Okay, so for concealer, I always love Maybelline because as you can see here, they have quite a varied selection of concealers and they are both equally great. If I could pick both, I'll definitely will. But today, I'm going to go for the Fit Me Concealer. Why? It's because this is a really good dupe for a luxury type of concealer. So basically, this is how it looks like in its packaging. And essentially, it's a doe foot applicator. You can just swipe, swipe and you can pat it into your skin. So it's a very pigmented formulation while being something that is super blendable and it's still really, really hydrating on the skin. So overall, I'll definitely give this a pick for a very holy grail type starter kit for you to pick up. Okay, so one of the most underrated brands that many people don't really mention is the Chain Cosmetics and I'm a full diehard lover. I'll do a brand review soon so that you guys know everything about it. But if you come close, I'll be talking about their Nude Illusion Powder. As you can see here, it's a loose powder which is super super good and I won't be testing it because I definitely know how this performs. It compares to the likes of Laura Mercier and it, that is super expensive. This is only $9.50 and yeah, for something that doesn't create a white cast or flashback and is a loose powder, I find it to be like really really incredible for the price point. So I'm definitely getting this for the starter kit. Okay, so next I'm also going to recommend another product from Catrice and this you guys are going to be super blown away. It's a face palette and I was following it for so so long on the Instagram page and it's finally come to Singapore. So basically it's an all-in-one a cream, uh, a cream and powder and also a blush, contour and eyeshadow kind of a palette and what I really like about it is that it gives everyday girls a very easy handy palette to do all things. Okay, so for brow products, I think this year for me brows hasn't been a problem but I've been exposed to so many brow products and I'm going to give you my top recommendation. It's from L'Oreal. So here they have a very beautiful array, it's called Brow Bar but I'm going to be picking this one. It's called the Brow Artist Tattoo Tint. Don't be afraid about the word tattoo, it sounds really scary but essentially what it is is a brow gel on one end. You can see it, it's just a spoolie saturated with brow products and on the other end is a marker. So a marker sounds pretty scary as well but this creates the most natural looking brow especially if you don't have a lot of hair. 
But what I really, really enjoy about it and having so much brow composition is that this shade is the perfect ashy tone to give you very natural fluffy brow without looking too drawn on or too um, heavy or too blocky. So that's the one that I'm going to be picking up. eyeshadows if you're coming closer this is the Catrice Stan and okay I'm just gonna recommend a few different things that might be out of some people's comfort zone but in order to achieve a natural to almost formal occasion kind of look these are the products that I recommend starting off with a cream eyeshadow this is a liquid metal eyeshadow from Catrice as you can see it's a hot seller most of the items are kind of you know patchy in terms of stocking but um, yeah I would recommend this and this for a evening out so that it sets the base for a really really pigmented kind of finish so these two I will pick up and also these eyeshadow palettes I think these are the most highly highly underrated things because they are so affordable as you can see in the price point and they have an array of things so here you can see it's a chrome finish which means it's like dual chromatic which is all the trend now they also have a modern matte they also have a copper finish, they have a blossom finish and yeah, as far as I know, they do have a lot of different types of eyeshadow palettes for your picking. So I'm going to pick up the matte and I'm going to pick up the chrome. Okay, so now for mascara, I will definitely recommend this one called The Lash Sensational. I've tried it before, it's really really good. I kind of move on to heroin make but if I had to pick one, it will definitely be this. And also for eyeliner, either in brown or in black. But I'm thinking I will pick a brown for a more natural to buildable finish. And this is a gel eyeliner that comes with a pen. So these two items will come in really handy in the starter kit. Okay, so for lipsticks, I'll be recommending Essence because it's the most affordable find with really good quality. So as you can see here, they have so many types of lip products with an array of shades and an array of finishes. So essentially, they have liquid lipsticks, they have tints, they have shine finishes, lip liners, matte finishes, balm textures, lip glosses, everything and even a lip palette, a custom lip palette and everything is really really affordable, one of the best price points I must add. So I'm just going to take my time to select because I clearly have been swatching. I'll be choosing a nude and also a bold lip so it kind of complements a natural to a formal occasion type makeup. Okay, so for our last item, I'll be talking about a setting spray from La Roche-Posay. I really, really like the Sierra Zing. It's one of their best sellers actually. I'm just going to get a small bottle because I'm using it for makeup purposes. I can use it before makeup and also after makeup. But I really, really like that this helps oily singles to kind of like set your makeup and also just keep your oils at bay. And yeah, a lot of my friends love it as well. Thank you.